I have the hiccups. Let's hope that I can film this without hiccuping every three seconds. If not, I apologize. Hey dolls! So today for you guys, I have a lush haul. Long story short, I actually went to Portland overnight with my fiance and they had a lush store there so i convinced him to go with me and i got a few items um there is one bath bomb that is not included in this haul because i did get it for my nieces to kind of split it was the sakura bath bomb i think that's the one that it was so i did buy that also but it's not in here because i already gave it to my nieces so moving on Okay, I have my receipt here so I can kind of remember the names of some of these. So the main reason I even wanted to go to Lush is because my favorite scent from them is Snow Fairy. And I think they usually only have it around the holidays with their like Christmas stuff. So I had to go and stock up on a few Snow Fairy items. So the first thing that I got is the Snow Fairy Jelly Balm. Oh my god, it smells so good. This is my favorite scent ever. It just smells like straight sugar. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I guess the difference between a bath bomb and a jelly bomb is the jelly bomb creates kind of like a jelly texture along the surface of the water. I think that's what I've read on the website, I believe. So if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Go ahead and correct me down below. But I had to get the Snow Fairy one. This just smells so scrumptious. Then I had to get this magic wand bubble bar that you can reuse. So that's awesome. You get more than one use out of it. I don't know if this is meant to be Snow Fairy scented, but it smells exactly like it. So there is that super sparkly, pretty um, bubble bar. And it has like a little bell right here. And then you just swirl it around in your bath to make bubbles. And it just smells so good once again oh my gosh i love that smell so 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 much then two more bath bombs this is my ultimate favorite bath bomb from lush like besides the snow fairy jelly bomb i haven't tried that one yet so i can't necessarily say it's my favorite but it's my favorite scented one um this is the sex bomb this is my favorite bath bomb it just smells so good so nice so fresh and the little rose petals are so cute when they disperse in the water. So precious. And then, of course, it makes the water pinkish. Smells good also. I just, I love this one so much. A very good classic one that's available all year round. And then this one that I got looked very interesting. I think that this one is only available for Christmas as well. But this one is called the Luxury Lush Pud Bath Bomb. And I watched uh, demos of this on YouTube and oh my gosh, this thing is so amazing. It smells like candy and it has like a little holly on top of it right there. And once you drop this in your bath, not only do tons of different colors come out of it and it's just like a rainbow of super funness happening, but all of these little pieces right here, like these little circles, they actually break away and kind of do their own little thing. So it's like bath bombs within a full bath bomb that kind of break away and have their own little colors sporadically through the water, which I think is a really cute and creative concept. And again, this one just smells like candy. It smells so delicious and it's so, so cute. So I'm very excited to try this one out. And then I got this Rose Jam Bubble Rune, which I have a love-hate relationship with this because number one, it's pink and glittery and it smells like roses. So heck yeah, I'm on board. But I hate that they call this a bubble rune because this is not inspired by a macaroon. This is inspired by a macaron. Uh, the macarons are what you guys typically see, like the French style little sandwich cookies. A macaroon is just a bunch of like crushed up coconut. <laughs> and a lot of people confuse the two with each other. But on the website, it does actually describe this, that it is inspired and has the shape of a macaron. But for whatever reason, they call it a bubble rune. 
I don't really know why. I, I They're aware that it's called a macaroon, not a macaroon, but they still call it bubble rune. So I don't really know how I feel about the name, but the item itself is so cute. So it has these two little chunks of a bubble bar on both sides of this paste that is put together that is actually shea butter and you break these apart and you this has two uses so you can use one half for a bath and then the other half for a bath and then you can just kind of use the shea butter in the bath as well so it is very very pretty shaped like a rose smells just like roses I actually got this for my mom because she loves roses and she's always saying, oh, I need some bath bombs. I need stuff for my bath. Get me stuff from my bath. So um, she's definitely a heavy bath taker. And so I figured that this would be awesome for her. So she's actually going to use this tonight after I get done filming this. That's half the reason I'm filming this right now because she was like, you need to film your video so I can use my bath bomb already. <laughs> that is it for the bath items now i have two little items that i want to share with you guys oh, the gods have spoken and the gods have answered my prayers this is a snow fairy body spray ah! this guy was a heaping 29.95 though goodness gracious um <laughs> Typically, I wouldn't spend that on this, but because I was in Oregon, you don't have to pay taxes in Oregon. So I was able to save some money. So I was like, you know what? It's like a coupon without an actual coupon. So I'll go ahead and cave and get it. And it is beautiful. I love just, it just, it smells so good. I just, I love this scent so much. It's just my favorite. It's just so sugary and candy and basically this is me in a scent and <laughs> i just am obsessed with it so i want to smell like this all the time not just like right after i get out of the shower or right after i get out of the bath i want to smell like this whenever i want i can spray this on my pillow before to go before i go to bed and use it as like aromatherapy and it's just so good and then the last thing that I got, I had totally forgotten that they started doing face masks and I'd been wanting to try one of their face masks for quite a while. They had them all on display there where you could kind of just like pick up the spoon and kind of smell it or do a little tester on the back of your hand or something. And I was just kind of like going through and smelling them all and stuff. And I didn't really know which one I wanted. I know I wanted to get one to try, but I didn't really know which one I wanted. And I was tempted to get like the chocolate one, but the worker actually came up to me and he's like, oh yeah, we do face masks. Um, what outcome do you want after you do a face mask? How do you want your skin to feel? What are you looking for? And I basically said that I have really, really dry skin. So I'm looking for something that can soothe my dry skin while moisturizing it. And I don't really suffer from breakouts too often, but I have been getting like a couple here and there just slightly because of the weather change. And he's like, oh, oh okay, well, Odie Fix is going to be perfect for you. And I'm like, okay, I can get behind that. Like, I know the oatmeal face mask trend. Like, I've, I've, I've done a couple of those before, so this one could probably be good. And he's like, and it has fresh bananas in it. I'm like, okay. He's like, so it smells just like banana bread. And I'm like, sold. <laughs> Pretty much. So this literally smells exactly like banana bread like it is insane like how similar it smells and it's just so nice this little tub was $9.95 and I've gotten one use out of it so far but I would say that one tub probably has at least seven to ten uses if not more if you stretch it sometimes I'll like to just do a face uh, a mask like on my t-zone and I won't really worry so much about like right here or you know certain other places or sometimes I'll just like focus it just on my forehead because that's kind of where I tend to get a little bit more dry or patchy and so yeah I can actually stretch this and make it last quite a while so 10 bucks really is not that unreasonable especially since it is made with like all fresh ingredients just like most of all their other stuff and the thing about their face masks though is they have to be kept in the refrigerator 
so that they stay fresh because they do have like fresh roots and stuff in them so you don't want them to like mold or get disgusting in between uses so keep that in mind if you do decide to get a face mask from them so yeah I absolutely love this so much it smells just like banana bread and my skin felt really great after I used it that night so yeah definitely two thumbs up for Odie fix <laughs> so as you can see there is the name right there so you know and you can look it up on the website. I'm not going to read off all the ingredients of all this stuff. I just told you the names of them. So if you wanted to know the individual ingredients of everything, you can get on the website and look them up. Everything is listed on there. So anyway, that is actually everything for my Lush uh fresh handmade cosmetics haul uh i do still have a couple lip scrubs from them and a couple body conditioners and stuff that they had previously sent me so i wasn't like in the need to get a ton of stuff um, but i do really like shopping at lush like in person especially because i don't have a location near me uh, within a reasonable distance so I've only actually ever been to a Lush store twice now. Uh, the first time was when I went to California uh, in September of 2017, and then I just went now in Portland. So yeah, I've pretty much only ever gone in big cities because I don't have any near me. And before that, I would usually do my shopping through online, uh, through the website. I wouldn't usually ever... I think now on the website, they have like a subscription thing where like... You can order something and then have it sent, automatically sent to you again like a couple months after or whenever you want it which i think is really cool that's awesome because um, a lot of their products are like shampoos conditioners now they have like little toothpaste pod things i actually do want to try to get those i didn't even know about them until i got home after i went otherwise i probably would have bought some because they looked very interesting have you guys tried the little toothpaste pod things that are supposed to like resemble toothpaste or it's like an alter alternative but they come in different packaging so that you can actually recycle the bottles whereas toothpaste little tubes they're made with tons of different materials so they aren't as easily recyclable so I think that's really cool that they started doing that and supposedly you can get a hundred or so brushes just out of one bottle which I think is awesome so I definitely do want to try those in the future and of course I'm a sucker for their bath bombs and now this oh my gosh and their face masks i'm very pleased with the face mask that i got so yes with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go because this video is long enough considering it was a small haul and i will go ahead and talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you